a wonderful, beautiful soul that, that has been sleuthing uh, that sent me some information. Now, again, I want to caution everybody about the information that is provided online. This information is not corroborated information. This is not until it's corroborated. We can look at the information, we can use it as a guide to help us, but we can't focus heavily on it. It does not have that type of weight. But in the light of this situation, I believe that this is information that you guys need to know, okay? It sounds like there's potential that it was a park employee, okay? Um, let me go ahead and get some information up here for you guys to see. We're going to go ahead and read it all together. Uh, okay, so here we go. So this is the one I'm focused on right here, six hours ago. Okay, it is what I have, male. 20, Hispanic, driving a silver Ford truck with Patriots NFL sticker on the back window. He lives in a house less than 50 miles away from where she was taken. Time is of the essence. It's 1.51 a.m. Here I got the first name of Jesus, works at the park. I did call this into the police hotline. Betty, do you not understand how irresponsible and dangerous this is? Someone could sleuth and find his information off the details you gave. Take matters into their own hands and attack this person for being a child predator. Or he could have been swatted by the police. Very dangerous situation where he or an officer could have been shot in the process. Have you ever stopped to think that this man you are just throwing out there as a suspect? Might have a family? Kids of his own? A wife? A whole life and reputation he has worked hard for? Your words and actions are not only irresponsible, they are dangerous. So again, this is just a place that that information is coming into. We are wanting to get this out to the public as much as possible because this could very well be a lead. Um, but again, you know, we have no real guide right now because law enforcement is going to be tight lipped. Again, I'm not me here on the Bullhorn Betty channel is not stating that any of this information is legitimate, valid, factual information. It's stuff that I believe makes sense. Betty, you can give all the disclaimers you want. It does not negate the implication you just made. You planted a seed in your audience's mind that this 20-year-old Hispanic male was a child predator. You alone are responsible for the content you put out. You are responsible for vetting the information you release and the consequences of doing so. And so in that uh, effort, I'm trying to get some information out to people so you guys can get all the information that I possess, okay? I have to be honest with you guys. If I didn't if I didn't say this, I honestly, like this, when I started hearing about a Hispanic man, now granted this one from what they're saying works at the park, okay, works at the park. But I tell you those split seconds, you know, like when you get information and you have those split seconds where, you know, things are just kind of shooting through your brain. And when I heard the 20 year old Hispanic male, I swear that split second went straight to Rachel Morin's case and how that person hasn't been found and how that person assaulted a person in Los Angeles and then five months later uh, killed a lady in uh, uh, Maryland. And now we have this going on in New York. And I'm sorry, just like I said, it was, I, I, I know that they're unrelated. I don't feel that they're related, but it was just that split second you know, oh my gosh, you know, this guy's a predator. We've got so many predators in, in our country right now. And this is just, it, it's, it's concerning. So let's, now there's a nine-year-old child missing. If anybody gives a damn, she was abducted, probably dead. If anybody gives a damn. The suspect is Craig Nelson Ross Jr. He's 47, not 20, white, not Hispanic. And he doesn't work at the state park. Do better.